and I just am feeling really excited about it. Hello, good morning, how are we doing? This is going to be a little makeup tutorial as we see here. Is it the best you've ever seen? No. Is it an all right look? And is it an entertaining video? Yes. So, please grab a snack, a cup of coffee, a water, sit back and relax. Get ready with me, maybe get ready at the same time, that would be fun. And let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, so let's get into it. Hi, today I'm going to be doing my makeup tutorial. Now I use that term loosely, nothing is too exciting about this, nor is it necessarily good or correct. I feel like I do that disclaimer with a lot of videos, but that is because, you know, it's just little old me throwing something together. So, this makeup routine is like, kind of if I just wanna go out, I wanna look nice, I wanna look snatched, this is what I'll do, you know? I don't always use primer, but in the winter, I feel like my skin gets super duper dry and like need a little refresh, you know? Also, I self-tanned last night, so if things are looking a little crazy, that is why. I'm not even gonna comment on it other than that, so here we go. So I'm using this little NYX pore filler primer, so I'm just gonna apply that with my hands. It comes out really weird and like dusty. And like, it feels like I'm putting like rubber on my skin. It feels like, which is probably not a good thing, but like look, it just kind of, it's a nice little base for my foundation. Also, tip of the day, if you have a water-based Primer, you should be using a water-based foundation. If you have an oil-based primer, you should be using an oil-based foundation. Otherwise, if you have an oil and a water, they're gonna just separate, generally. This is what I've been told. So try to match the primer, first ingredient on the list, to the foundation. Now, when I use it, when I have a tan, I'm gonna I use um, this L'Oreal Infallible foundation. So this is kind of like my tan, you know, summer slash self-tanned. I keep saying the word tan, okay, anyway. I got this little weird sponge in a birch box. So it has like the little silicone side. I don't know if I quite enjoy it yet, but definitely does the job. It kind of makes a weird noise though. This is probably gonna look crazy, but because the lights, you know, everything looks a little crazy with the lights. Like, it's just weird. Like, I don't know if I like the silicone thing. But look, it matches my tan really well, so. To each their own, you know what I'm saying? My face never gets very tan. Like, I refuse to go in tanning beds. Sometimes my self-tanner doesn't really stick that well to my face, so I always use a darker foundation for my face just to match the rest of my body. Bring it down your neck as well. Even though I self-tan my neck, I just like to make sure the color matches really well. Yeah, so this is happening. Um, I just kind of go in with this stuff until I'm content because when I'm doing this makeup look, I like it to look, like honestly my favorite thing with makeup is the skin. I like eyeshadow, I like whatever, but I really want my skin to be looking glowing and amazing. So that is kind of my main focus. Also, this is so weird, you'll probably notice this throughout the video and my other videos. Whenever I do my makeup, this hand just like hovers. Like I'll be doing this and this is just sitting here. Like, is that normal? Do other people do that? I don't know. Whew, that was exhausting. I've now wiped the foundation off my lips because I literally cannot focus when that's on there. Do a little chapstick. Mm. This one kind of tastes weird, but it's fine. Now that we have done that exciting step of foundation. We're gonna go in, first I like to spot conceal wherever I need to and I use this Dermablend. It's like very, sorry, I keep shifting around. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be still now. Very high coverage, like woo. So we just dab this on, you just need like the tiniest little 
pinky amount on any dark spots, little blemishes, whatever. And since I self tan, whenever I do that, it like really darkens whatever dry spots or, you know, is on my face, so. So then we go in and lightly, just real lightly tap over that. So that just kind of makes everything a little more full coverage. Also, this could be a totally wrong step of my routine, which it probably is. In the winter when things are dry or just like my foundation feels dry, this Evian like water mist, okay? Like I know, why did I buy this? And I kind of just mist my face with it every time I feel like I need to get things a little more hydrated and like make things easier to blend. Again, totally could be wrong, but like, you know, here we are. Also, mm, I got a venti coffee, which I like really rarely do. Normally I'll do a little grande two to three times a day. That's another story, but I did a venti today and I just am feeling really excited about it. Oh, I just switched back to hot coffee. It is like really, really hard for me to do because I'm, so obsessed with cold brew, but then it's just freezing outside, so I need warmth. So I just got this little pike place, and I got it with almond milk and one pump of peppermint, that's it. Like, if you just say add peppermint, I'm pretty sure they do like six pumps. Like, that's crazy, that's a lot of pumps. So I just say one, and I just need a little, little mintiness, a little fun, so delish. Also, I kind of miss the like all red cup. I don't know if they still do that, but I thought that was like a fun little pop of color. I don't mind the green, but that's just a passing comment. Sometimes I use this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but also it's kind of more expensive and I feel like it can be drying sometimes. So the Maybelline Fit Me is like, well, this one's a little more yellow, but they're like the same thing. So I just kind of, I do go ham with the concealer. I don't want any comments on that, you know? I don't want to hear that I'm going overboard. This is just, let me live my life, you know? Go in. So that's kind of what I do for under eyes. And then do a little on my nose. And then I'll go in under my cheeks. And then I just take whatever's like left on my thing and just kind of brighten different areas of my face. I feel like that is what makes my foundation normal. Sometimes my foundation looks a little too dark. And the excessive amount of concealer I use is what makes it look up. So once all of this is like nicely blended, go over, I, sometimes I go over my eyelids a little bit too, just to get rid of that veiny kind of scary look, you know? Now we're still rocking with the creams a little bit. Is this the correct step again? Don't know. Don't even tell me. I don't want to know. I actually love this. I think my sister got it for me for Christmas, like last year. But it's a highlight little contour palette and it has like a powder, contour, cream, and then all your little glow, whatever. So I use this random brush. Oh, from Sephora, cute. And I just use it with this cream. I kind of get in there real good, you know? <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, we just like real gently brush it on there because you don't want to rub off your foundation. That's gonna look crazy, you know? So, just real gently kind of dab it in, you know? Like it's really slight. It's just kind of for fun. And then I'll bring it up a little. Should I pull my hair back? Is this like weird that my hair is not back? The hair is now up, locked in, and we're good to go. What was I doing? Oh, this. Work this in around my hairline because I feel like just having that tanner on the outside of your face looks natural, makes your forehead a little smaller, which like, I'm fine with my forehead. It's like, you know, it does what it needs to do, but we could just shorten that guy just, just a titch, you know? I am currently home for Thanksgiving break, which is so nice. I have a full week. So I'm home from Sunday to Saturday. 
and normally we go out of town like i've gone to the bahamas the past few years those videos are on my channel if you're interested this year we're staying home which is actually kind of nice to not have to travel and just spend time with family this is kind of the cream contour not a pro but just doing what i can do so i kind of just throw things on randomly i'll go in better with powder next we're gonna bake it out so i have this wet and wild banana baking powder because we are balling on a budget per usual <clears throat> so ah, this is a little bit messy like that just flew up into the air just all over i'm gonna use this random blue brush which says stila it's an old stila brush cute and we're just going to do what i see people doing Crazy. My favorite place actually to put this is right there. Right under where I've done that cream contour. I don't know. Like already, before I even wipe it off, it kind of looks like you got that little jaw, even if you don't. Wait, I look crazy. Am I doing this right? Sip of this. So I have this little Trish McAvoy. Trish McAvoy eyeshadow base i don't know my mom gave it to me but i honestly didn't even have one so i was like okay fine as a girl i literally love getting ready if i have enough time and i'm not rushed getting ready is one of my favorite things normally i'll like watch youtube videos when i get ready or like put on some music but today clearly that's not happening but getting ready is just such a relaxing time for me it's so fun i'm gonna take this little random kind of looks like a mac brush i really don't know but I'm gonna go over that eye base that I just did with using the Morphe 350, which I use basically every day. Going in with the powder. Nice. And while that's hanging out for a second, I'm gonna do my eyebrows because they're distracting me because they just are scary. This is probably my favorite eyebrow product I've ever stumbled upon in all my days. The Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Brow Gel, just clear. Just clear as day. I'm gonna use these two little guys to kind of do a little base. Boop, boop. And I'm using the MAC 216, I think this is, I don't know. And I'm just gonna like real gently kind of contour the eye a little bit. What is that noise? It sounds like, okay, that was weird. I feel like it was like maybe a squirrel outside. Before I go further, I have to brush this away. It's like irritating me so much. There. Whew. So I'm gonna go with like a little yellow guy and the brown and just kind of warm this up a little. It kind of looks cold. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a deeper color. Probably this orange and this red. Wild. And we're just really gonna pop this in as people say. Kind of bring it out a little bit. And now we're gonna go in just a little bit more in that corner with that color. Now I'm gonna go back in with the red and then the darker red a little bit underneath it. Um, and then I literally use this big brush. I don't know if that's right. And I just drag it underneath with like a little bit on my brush, like whatever's left over. Now I'm gonna take that brush I used at the beginning and just go back along my eyebrow and just kind of blend out that. Hmm. Okay. Go under my eye with a little more of brown. Go a little bit closer. This is like one of the weirder things I do. <sighs> Whatever brown eyeshadow was left on the brush, I use that to contour my nose. I have no rhyme or reason for this. blend that out like dust it out a little bit i've done mainly my eyeshadow i'm gonna add a little i'm gonna add a little sparkle in there i'm gonna use this contour highlight palette and then i'm gonna pick the lightest shade strobe and the one lit right next to it um and just put that right here kind of pull it over a little next i'm going to go in with bronzer before I finish the eyes, I use this butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. It smells like coconut. It smells so good. Literally all over, especially when I've self-tanned so that I don't look 
crazy. Honestly, my second favorite step has gotta be blush. So I have this one from NARS. Just look how much I've used it. It is so good. Eyeliner, I go back and forth. Um, the Stila liquid pen, I use a ton. It's just simple. From a distance, from a distance, it's it's not bad. We're almost to the end. Okay. Now, did I forget my highlighter brush? Yes. Am I gonna panic? No, no, no. I'm gonna just use a finger to, you know, like the good old days. And then I will just put the tip of this on my nose. And right there, boop. Kind of blend them out um, so it doesn't look like I'm rude off, but it's also kind of cute. And now for lip color, I really do change it up quite a bit, but I do kind of have a nicer one that I've been using forever. It's the Chanel one. And you first apply it here. Like, just apply it as normal. It smells like vanilla, it smells so good. My caffeinated hand is like, then the other side is like a clear thing that locks it in. So it's a liquid lip and then you have the gloss so it's not dry and gross and whatever. After that dries, should I take my hair down? Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Hair's now down. But yeah, after it dries, I use this NARS, this NARS lip oil and it's like, it's um, sparkly. I'll link everything down below. It's so pretty. So I already have that clear one from the Chanel Duo on. And then I just add this over the top. And so that's about it for the makeup routine. This is about as good as it gets in terms of my skill level. Hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Even if you didn't enjoy this, please also subscribe. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope you learned something or were at least entertained throughout this. But yeah, see ya, have a great afternoon and I'll talk to you soon, bye.